Dakota lawmakers need to beef up the state's regulations regarding storage of high-level nuclear waste. That was the message from several people who testified before the House Natural Resources Committee today. Leading the way in the testimony were members of the North Dakota Community Alliance. The rugby-based group has been working to get the state to clarify and toughen its law that would be relied upon if the federal government targets the state for nuclear waste storage. Dave Glon of the Department of Health says he wants to make sure the bill provides a way to fine a company that violates state laws and requires them to clean up any problems. In addition, he suggests a hefty bond be required in case the company goes out of business. Uh, you are looking at high stakes, high dollar issues here. So to have a billion dollar bond, and I'm just rough number, that, that may not be unrealistic. Members of the Community Alliance encouraged lawmakers to look for guidance to other states, such as Wyoming and Nevada, that have nuclear waste control laws in place. A Bismarck bank teller is accused of stealing $8,000 from work. Bismarck police responded to BNC National Bank off of South 3rd Street yesterday. Police say the suspect, 24-year-old Katie Walter, told her manager she had been stealing out of the cash drawer. Police say Walter told them she took the money to support a drug habit. The North Dakota Highway Patrol says a small plane went down in a field in Richland County. Sergeant 